Okay, here we are, still on our bright sunny morning, heading for the shores of Loch Muick. We're in uh, the Queen's Estate of Balmoral, renting a little cottage here actually, in the Highlands of Scotland. Here we are, we'll give you a little wander around, sun in the background once in March. This is the road we're walking down to Loch Muick. And this is mountains, and over here, that snow peaked mountain on the background. I don't know if I've got it in, have I? Behind the tree line. Away up there is Dark Loch Nagar. And here we have the valley. We've even got some deer grazing down in the distance, but I don't know if you'll catch them in this phone. Okay, well. Speaking from, let's see, get the book in here, the 12 Minor Prophet Summaries. And this is a quick walk and talk video. As I said, we're on the Prophet Micah, who was a contemporary of, uh, contemporary of Amos and Hosea at the time. And it was just before, about around about 720 BC, we can't be absolutely sure of the date, but Around about then, just before the fall of Samaria, which was the northern king in the northern kingdom of Israel, and uh, Micah himself was a prophet of the southern kingdom of Judah, and Micah seen the corruption that was sneaking into the southern kingdom, and in many ways equated it to, to what had happened in the north, and what Micah particularly preaches against is a corruption of people in the high places, if you like, in places of authority and people who had signed over land deeds made the poor people even poorer, which led to an influx of people who would normally be farmers, etc., into the cities to try and seek employment because the, the place had got so corrupt, the judges had all been bought and it seemed like anything could be bought. Uh, as long as you had money, then you would get more money. You could say, in that respect, some things never change. We're often in the same position ourselves just now, whereby we, we tend to think that um, maybe it's a modern day thing that you know, money goes to those who have money, but in fact there's nothing new in it. It's a, a fairly common theme or pattern throughout the ages. And uh, Micah himself, well, we don't really know much about him. Uh, possibly he was a farmer, similar to Amos, uh, but that's about as much. We know that uh, he's termed as a man of the soil, possibly a man of the people, you know, he obviously can relate to the common people in a way that others couldn't. Thing really changes. Here we are. Before we finish up this video, give you another look around. See where we're heading. Some grouse off in the background there. The sun is a bit of a mixed blessing here as well. And they're looking out. So that is uh, Micah, a seeker after justice, you could say, in a message very similar to Amos and Hosea at the time. Of course, he was a contemporary, he spoke at the same time from the southern kingdom of Israel. If you'd like to look out more about Micah, uh, get more details than obviously this short summary, get some days and dates and times, etc., then check out the book here. Or go to the link underneath this video, it'll take you straight to the page, and you'll find the contents of here free. So that's the thing to do. Click on the link, and you'll get more about the Prophet Micah. Well, thanks very much for tuning in. That's me for now. Goodbye.